Prayer, the medium of communication between God is capable of anything. Since with God, all things are possible. Therefore through prayer, we can get anything. Being that God is ever willing and capable of meeting all the needs of his children. What prayer cannot do doesn't exist. And that is right. Even the Bible confirms it when Paul says, I can do all things, through Christ who strengthens me. How do you get Christ to strengthen you? Of course, through prayers. Therefore, never start your day without prayer. Prayer is the believer's weapon. More effective and efficacious than human artilleries of warfare. The Bible described prayer of faith with the Word of God. As being sharper than a two-edged sword. Capable of piercing into the bones, marrows. And anywhere it needed to operate. There are no limits to what prayers can do. Prayer can lift someone from the dungeon to the palace. Prayer can make a nobody somebody. Prayer has been described as the master key. And that is right. It can lock and unlock things. It is with it that Elijah locked off heaven. That there should not be rains for about three and a half years. With prayers, Paul and Silas unlocked the prison doors where they were locked up. It is with prayers that the wall of Jericho was brought down. It is with prayers that the Israelites defeated all their enemies while on their way to the promised land. And even after having settled in the promised land, there are really no limits to what prayers can do. Absolutely none. Why is prayer this powerful? Because God made it so. He said, Command you me in Isaiah chapter 45 verses 11. Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his Maker. Ask me of things to come concerning my sons. And concerning the work of my hands command ye me. You can imagine, God, asking man to command him. That is one of the reasons prayer is so powerful. If we can through prayer command the God of all possibilities. What then can we not achieve through prayers? Prayer can put food on your table. Through prayers, God sent Israelites manna food. And quails, meat, when they needed it. Through prayers, Daniel moved from a slave in a foreign land. To become the prime minister in a foreign land, Babylon. There is no end to what prayers have done. Neither is there any exception to what it can do even today. For God remains the same today, yesterday, and forever. What he did before, he can still do even today. The God who has done all that we have mentioned through prayers, has also promised to do all things for us today. If we can effectively pray, so what is that challenge, what is the concerns and issues, that have been giving you sleepless nights, worries, and anxiety? Have you taken it to God in prayers? Or do you think prayers have no solutions to it? Perhaps that might be where the real problems lay. But the truth is that prayer has got the power to do it all. So I put it to you, child of God, that prayers can do all things. So stop that looks of worry, dejection, defeat, and hopelessness and start praying. Make prayer a daily habit and lifestyle. Start your day with it, end your day with it. Go to bed with it wake up with it. Jesus says in St. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. That man ought always to pray, and not to faint. You see, Jesus who is himself God, Son of God, is the one saying that man ought to pray without ceasing. That underscores the importance of prayer. Pray until your change comes. Pray your way into success. Never accept any contrary situation as the will of God. No, it is not, it can't be the will of God. For God has already made his will for us known to us. Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11, he says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Anything contrary, change it through prayer. It is not the plan of God for you. God promised to grant our righteous heart's desires. He takes pleasure in the prosperity of his children. 
He came that we might have life and have it in abundance. Abundant constitutes a life of comfort. The life of convenience, a life that has been well lived. It includes life with all the basic necessities of life. Good health, money, joyfulness, shelter, clothing. An abundance of what to eat and drink. Not a life of struggle, with pressure on what to eat and drink. If there is a lack in any of the above, you can change it through prayers. Use prayers to turn things around for yourself as you desire. Hannah used prayer to change her situation. When she was challenged with barrenness, through perseverance in prayers, she got not only just a male child but male and female children. What about David, Jabez, Elijah, Elisha, etc.? They were all delivered from dangers through prayers. Time will fail me to talk about Abraham, Moses, Joshua, Jehoshaphat, Solomon, Job, Peter, Paul, and a host of many others too numerous to mention, who through prayers changed situations and averted calamities. Solomon, for instance, through prayers and sacrifices, became the richest king in the entire world of his time. Job. The Bible described Job as the richest man in the then East in his time. All these feats were made possible through prayers, and at the altar of prayers. So stop worrying, stop crying, stop looking pitiable, and start praying. Pray your way to success. Pray until something happens. Pray your way into a breakthrough, like Jabez in First Chronicles chapter four, verse ten. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Saying, "O、oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me." And God granted him that which he requested. Now, if Jabez, in the old covenant, can do it, you can do it even more, for you are in a better covenant than the brethren of the old. Jesus even confirmed it. He said in Matthew chapter 11 verses 11, "Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he." It simply means that we are in a better dispensation, with better privileges and opportunities, which the saints of old yawned to have but would not. We are more empowered and equipped, with all we need to have all our needs met. And one such privilege is prayer in the name of Jesus, a name so hallowed, elevated, empowered, that at the mention of Jesus, every knee bows, every tongue confesses that Jesus is the Lord. I prophesy to you, in the name of Jesus, you shall make it. You shall not be stranded. You shall not fail. Be healed in Jesus' name. Now, let us pray. Everlasting Father, I thank you for the gift of a new day, a day like no other, a day that no living has ever seen, a day that all that were alive yesterday desired to see, but only your grace has made it possible for me to see it. Therefore, dear Lord, as it has pleased you that I see this day, Father Lord, I come into it this morning with a heart full of thanksgiving, mouth full of praise. For it is a nice thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Thank you, Father Lord, for the salvation of my soul to start with. For what else can a man give in exchange for his soul? Thank you, Father Lord, also for the gift of the night rest. For it is you, Lord, that gives sleep to your beloved. Thank you, Lord, for protection, guidance, healings, deliverances, and your many numerous good deeds upon my soul. Too numerous to mention. In all, dear Lord, I say thank you. Like the psalmist will say, I will enter into His gate with thanksgiving and into His court with praise. Dear Lord, I enter Your gate this morning with thanksgiving, and into Your court with praise. I say it is the day You have made, and I will rejoice in it for You have made me glad. Dear Father, like the Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Hallow be thy name, for your name is a strong tower where I have always run to for safety. Thanks for the preservation of my soul, spirit, 
and body in your name. Father reign over me today, reign in every faculty of my existence. Direct my thought to please you. Direct my actions and inactions to be in tandem with your expectations. Cause my imaginations to be pure, clean, and praiseworthy. Let my words today minister grace and be edifying to everyone I shall encounter. Make my conversations to be pure, peaceable, and full of grace. Help me to dwell and walk in your perfect will all through the day. I know you have brought me to engrace me and not to disgrace me, to bless me and not to curse me, to heal me and not to afflict me, to prosper me and not to impoverish us. To this ends, dear Lord, since it is the day you have made, for me to rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I ask that whatever I will need for optimum and comfortable life this day, that my might be in full. Dear Lord, go before me after the order of Cyrus. To make the crooked way straight for me. To break into pieces all the iron doors and gates of brass. To give me treasures of darkness and riches of the secret places. That they may know that you are my Redeemer, the Mighty One of Israel. Supply me, dear Lord, today, all that I will need to stay afloat. For you say, I should ask, and it shall be given to me. Dear Lord, I therefore ask for my today's needs. Give me, Lord, today, my physical and non-physical needs. My needs for bread, my needs for protection, my needs for guidance, my needs for wisdom to solve needs that require wisdom, my need for health and fitness. Guide me to make the right decisions today. Decisions that will bring glory to your name. And also lifting breakthrough, favor, and turnaround encounters to me. Dear Lord, forgive me also, whatever I have done wrong. Whatever I have said that I am not supposed to say. The thought that I have thought that was wrong. Forgive me in whatever way that I have derailed or trespassed. Even as I have forgiven those who have offended me. For I know that if I regard iniquity in my heart you will not hear me. Therefore, dear Lord, now that as I bear no grudges against anyone. Therefore search me dear Lord, and purge me of any wickedness or the semblances. Purged my heart of iniquities. Hear my prayers, dear loving Lord. For you desire sincerity, truth, and honesty from my inner heart. You have pleasure Lord, in mercy rather than punishment. Have mercy dear Lord on me, over my faithlessness, my ingratitude, and any aspects of me that have not been giving you glory. Open my eyes to see it, so that I can make the needed changes through the help of your Holy Spirit. Have mercy on my soul, dear Lord. For it is only you, I have sinned these sins against. Dear Lord, disappoint those who are seeking for the pound of my flesh, who are seeking for my fall who takes pleasure in my sadness. Cause their evil wishes, machinations, and devices to perish with them. Let their lethal plans and scheming be scuttled. Deliver me dear Lord from the razor sharp tongue, slanders, curses, accusations, and enchantment. Confound their wisdom, let their counsel like the counsel of Ahithophel be turned into foolishness. Dear Father Lord, in your word in Isaiah 54, you said, that I should condemn every tongue, that shall rise up against me in judgment. Therefore Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I condemn every tongue that is out speaking ills against me. I neutralize and counteract every enchantment, every magic statement, every invocation, every divination, and spell. I neutralize every projection against me and my family. Lord render them useless, null and void, and of no effect on myself and my family. As your word says dear Lord, that I shall decree a thing and it shall be established. I decree unto myself and my household, health, wealth, financial open doors, prosperity, successes, maritally, academically, professionally, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father Lord for having answered me. For I prayed with thanksgiving. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, 
Our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We love you.